Hey, we're Burning Company here. Welcome to my beer library, where I do beer reviews, a beer vlog, I make beer, and also cider and a cider uh, vlog and uh, uh, reviews as well. So, before we start this video, uh, I got a new sticker sent to me. This one is from piesandpints.net. Get some. Uh, Pies and Pints sells um, pizza and beer. Okay, there we go. So, uh, go check them out. They sent me a sticker because they probably wanted me to talk about it. So this, we're going to try a, a new traditional or a uh, seasonal beer. This is, uh, it says Ballhorn and since 1987. Anderson Valley Black Rice Ale. <clears throat> Alcohol by volume 3.8%. This is a solar powered brewery. Um... Anderson Valley Brewing Company from Boonville, California. And uh, that's it. So we don't get any more information. I've, I've never tried a black um, rice ale. So that's the category I'm going to put it in. Not the seasonal one. Even though this was did come out around Christmas time. Holy moly. It's dark. That's pretty cool. So I'm actually eager to... Uh, I like trying different beers. Um... And this is uh, definitely different. So, I've never even actually heard of um, anything like this before. So, and you don't get much info on the can either. I like the design, the uh, the bear with the deer antlers. They uh, they make they have a. Uh, um, I think a seasonal stout has the same design on it. So it smells like um, like a lager, like a cheap lager, kind of like a Natty Light or something like that. That weedy um, alcohol smell. So let's give it a go here. Tastes like a Natty Light. That's weird. You'd think with it being this dark, I mean, it's almost black, that it would taste something different, but it tastes like a watered-down beer is what it tastes like to me. Not that Natty Light tastes like a watered-down beer, uh, but that's, um, that's unique, I'll tell you. Wow, I never would have, uh, I never would have thought that with the color of that. Um, the odor it matches the taste perfectly. Um, like I said, I've never had that whatsoever before. Um, it, it tastes a little weird. Uh, it has like a weird aftertaste too. It's like a, like um, like a filmy aftertaste. Like, you know what I mean? So let's go, let's give it a grade, I guess. So for the black rice ale category, um, zero being the worst black rice ale out there, 100 being the best, I would give you Anderson Valley Brewing a 75. Because I have no clue what this is supposed to taste like. Uh, this is the probably the only one I'll ever have avbc.com um, now that I've had it would I go out and buy more um, of the black rice ale I would not uh, I don't think it was I mean I'll drink that one but um, that's uh, that'll probably be it for the black rice ale. and if you guys know for uh, the people who uh, have watched my channel for a while, I usually try uh, some beer and then I try to brew it. I will not be brewing that beer. Um, it's just not uh, appeasing in the 
tastes like cheap beer is what it tastes like. That's it's like convenience store beer, but really cheap stuff. That's what it tastes like to me. So if you have different thoughts on that, or if you've tried that, or maybe you've tried a black rice ale and you're like, oh, you got to try this because I think you got a bad batch or something like that. Put in the comments below. I mean, I'll try anything twice. Uh, but if, if you guys suggest something and then I go try that black rice ale and it tastes like this, I'm never trying it again, ever. Even if I went to wherever it's made, okay? Japan, I don't know. I'm only saying that because there's Asian letters on there. I don't know. Uh, I will never try it again, okay? So don't be suggesting stuff that ain't good. That's not good. So try something you never had before and finish a glass that you don't really want to finish. Cheers.